Well, the Super Bowl's been played, the past football season is in the books, and it's time to look forward to baseball season. Well, I'm looking forward to spring and the upcoming 2017 baseball season, and I figured this is a great opportunity to open some 2017 Topps baseball cards and talk a little bit about the baseball season that's passed in 2016 and that we're looking forward to in 2017. So let's uh, get into this box. Hobby boxes of Topps baseball cards just released last week and it's just another sign that spring is near. Pitchers and catchers report in a few days. We're only weeks away from exhibition games and before you know it, April will be here and the 2017 baseball season will be underway. Absolutely can't wait as a big baseball fan. You guys may know that uh, I'm a Phillies fan and I'm still looking forward to the season. My expectations aren't high for the team. I mean, if everything goes right, I guess they could be an 81 win team. But in all honesty, it's another building year. So that's, uh, you know, what I'm looking forward to seeing the team uh, get better. So going to open these uh, 2017 Topps baseball cards. This is what they look like this year. It's a, it's a great tradition, Topps baseball. I mean, this is the 66th year, if I'm uh, correct. And uh, it's always fun to uh, look forward to a new product and, you know, a season that's come near. Things have changed over the years. You have these uh, foil cards that um, are released, little inserts, but... Uh, you get some really cool action shots like this Kevin Pillar. So it'll be uh it'll be intriguing to see what happens this baseball season. So uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more about the Tops products, check out my other channel, Mike O. I'll link that down below. Um, I've done s several breaks and I break down the product a lot. But right here, this is a little more informal. Just want to kind of go through some cards and talk a little bit about some of the players and stuff like that show off a few cards here and there but uh nothing too interesting in this pack we've got a uh mark trumbo league leaders card he uh sluggers all around baseball have had a hard time uh inking deals this spring so it'll be interesting to see how these guys uh play and it's they're non-traditional sluggers they're not the superstar sluggers the guys who hit a ton of home runs last year they didn't have great averages and stuff like that but uh we have mlb network cards in the product this year obviously a great network um great way to get your baseball fix all year round i haven't watched a ton of it lately but uh it's definitely something that i'm always into um i definitely was into football for um for obvious reasons uh deep into this year but i'm definitely getting ready for baseball and uh you know, can't wait. MLB Network's great. Once you start getting those random spring training games, you can just kind of watch them and uh, get that first taste of baseball. It definitely gets you pumped up for the season. Topps has been stressing their vintage products in recent years. They have this Rediscover Topps program to help kind of promote um, products of the old days and kind of connect them to old collectors, bring some people back into the hobby. Um, I guess, you know, something they want to do is get, you know, some people that aren't necessarily older, but people who haven't collected in a long time to reintroduce them and then to get their kids uh, interested in them. But here's a Kyle Schwarber, who obviously, uh, he'll be an interesting story this year. Like, where's he going to play? Uh, obviously, he's a big part of the Chicago Cubs. Helped them win the World Series last year, despite missing um, all but four at-bats of last season. But it should be... Uh, should be pretty interesting uh, this baseball season. Another thing Topps is doing, they're celebrating the 30-year anniversary of 1987 Topps. You see this Madison Bumgarner insert. Um, they're reintroducing the 87 Topps in an insert set, which is cool. Then they have Rediscover Topps buybacks, and they're stamped to Rediscover Topps. This is a 1989 Wally Backman. And I was talking at the beginning of this video about tradition, and... 1989 tops are the first ones I ever uh, really went through. I received a couple packs as a Christmas gift or as a birthday gift and uh, opened them with my dad and he was telling me all about the players and stuff and that's what really got me uh, got me started in the hobby of uh, 
cards. I was already watching baseball, going to games, stuff like that. But I remember just my dad telling me about different players and stuff. And I remember uh, asking him, hey, do you think uh, maybe we can get some more of these? And, uh, you know, the rest is history. Now I'm opening uh, cards here, still collecting. Yon Makata, he's now with the White Sox. So be one of the big and interesting rookies this season. Be uh, really interesting to see what he does. We, of course, have Chris Bryant, who is one of the real superstars in baseball nowadays. Uh, obviously coming off an MVP season, a world title with the Cubs. Uh, obviously just an amazing uh, World Series. Jake Arrieta. As sports fans, we've been uh, really lucky. Between the great World Series, coming off a great Super Bowl or comeback Super Bowl, um, the same thing. And I mean, I'm not a big basketball fan, but I know there's a 3-1 comeback there. So they got first uh, pitch cards. We got Bo uh, Bob Owenkirk. Um, he's from Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. That's what he's best known for, or at least recent times. Here's an interesting, uh, this is a Jesse Hahn card, numbered to 99. Uh, it won't show up on camera too much, but it's vintage stock. So it's a little more like the cards from the 80s. It's pretty cool. I actually wouldn't mind them going back to stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, opening cards, it's just a great way. Um, and I think it is a great thing to get kids introduced because you learn the players a little more. Um, of course, you can watch a lot of the baseball and you have interleague play now and nowadays. But uh, it's a great way to um, introduce kids and get kids interested in the sport. Here is a Gary Sanchez second-year card. Guy had an absolutely monster uh, conclusion to 2016. Um, he was unbelievable, and it'll be, he's another guy, it'll be interesting, how well will he play in 2017, is he a superstar like he played uh, in September, or is he just, you know, another good player, and that, you know, a good player is a good player, but he played like a straight up superstar, Michael Saunders, he'll uh, be playing right field for the Phillies this year, One of my uh, personal favorites, as a Phillies fan, Chase Utley, featured in the Dodgers uniform. He is, as uh, at the time of recording of this video, without a team, but there have been a lot of rumors. Uh, he's been rumored to a number of teams. Latest, they've been talking about how Cleveland is interested in him, but they don't know if he'd get enough at-bats, and there's a mystery team, so who knows what will happen there. But uh, he's definitely someone who can help a team that's on the cusp of winning. So, I don't know uh, who's going to be um, really good this year. I mean, I guess we'll kind of see as the season unfolds, but you would have to expect, you know, the favorites going into the season, the Cubs. I mean, they're coming off the world title. You would suspect they'll be very good, not only this year, but for years to come. And, uh, you know, the Cleveland Indians, they uh, sure added some firepower this year, so you would expect them to be really good and in the thick of things again this season. Here's another 1987 tops. It's Evan Longoria. Um, you know, the Boston Red Sox look like they're going to be really good. And then, you know, besides that, you still have the Kansas City Royals, who um, they have to overcome a lot from this offseason, but they did win the World Series two years ago. They were there, you know, two years in a row prior. Uh, the Texas Rangers are a team that I think they get forgotten pretty quickly because of the, uh, you know, terrible showing in the uh, postseason last year, but I think they're a force to be reckoned with potentially. Uh, the Dodgers out west in the NL will be good again. The San Francisco Giants, the Cardinals, you can't count those teams out. I haven't heard a lot about the Mets. I don't know if they have the offense that they need, but they certainly have pitching if the pitching can stay, uh, stay healthy. So Topps is also doing some inserts here celebrating Bowman, which is one of their other products they put out. Uh, celebrating guy's first Bowman card. So that's an interesting little thing. But, you know, get uh, get involved. Comment down below. What teams uh, do you like this year? Is there a team that you think is going to win the World Series? Is there a team that's you know, no one's talking about that you really like this year that you think, you know, could potentially be pretty good? 
uh, a team I did neglect to uh, mention with the Astros. They've definitely been aggressive this year, picking up some players. And, you know, two years ago, they were right there. They were, uh, you know, on the cusp of beating the Kansas City Royals before falling a little short. So, you know, that's a team to consider as well. I mean, it could be a really fun 2017 season. There's a lot of really good teams. got some more uh, buybacks here. We've got a 1988 um, Mike Trujillo. I can't say I kind of uh, know much about him, but it's cool. I always like that design a lot. Um, it's just fun going through these types of cards. Like I said, they're out now. If you can't afford a hobby box, which is a little more pricey, check your local Target or Walmart. Um, you can get boxes there for about 20 bucks you can get uh different packs there's a clayton kershaw obviously one of the real stars of the game i mean you look at his stats there you just see a whole lot of red a whole lot of highlighted red in the statistics indicating that he led the league um this is an absolutely great player and he is on his way potentially to the hall of fame if he can uh remain healthy and remaining healthy is the key with pitchers um teams are so protective of uh of pitchers nowadays that it seems like it only leads to more injuries but then again maybe they're just more careful now and they pay attention here speaking of uh dodgers Corey seager this guy is uh he was unbelievable last year 26 homers 72 rbis hit 308 um and that's all in his rookie season 40 doubles great player i don't even know if he gets you know he's very well recognized in the hobby and in the sport in general but i don't know if he people realize how good he was last year so and he's pretty pretty freaking young so we've got some league leaders cards here M max scherzer so the nationals that's another team i mean they're loaded with talent if things go their way they certainly uh could be back and they're one of those teams you've been kind of waiting for for years to uh kind of break out in the postseason they've really had their struggles there say henry aaron little uh, reprint card and Giancarlo Stanton on the 87 tops the Marlins we'll see they have some talent I don't know if they have enough talent to uh, to reach the postseason but um, the NL East will be interesting because the Braves really went nuts this year uh, signing veterans trying to have a good showing in the uh, new stadium there's an Albert Pujols league leaders card future Hall of Famer Albert Pujols I like base tops cards um, for people who aren't into the hobby uh, anymore. You have a whole bunch of higher end products, and most sets come with the same players over and over again. But you get a tops, uh, they do series one, series two, and an update series, so they make about a thousand cards and like six, uh, more like 700 different players at least. And it gives a chance for guys like Brandon Geyer to get cards who won't be in other products. And this guy, um, you know, he's certainly no superstar, but he played really, really well for the Indians last year. After he came over, he had 81 at-bats, had two homers, 14 RBIs, hit 333, and he's just one of those bench guys um, who played a big role in the Indians' run to the World Series last year. Really, really good player, and it's nice to see cards made of players like that. Of course, we have the final David Ortiz. Uh regular old card as he announces his retirement this is a gold parallel uh it's serial number the 2017 but uh his final season he led the league with 127 rbis a 620 slugging percentage and a 1021 ops so uh yeah david ortiz he was um pretty good 541 homers 1768 rbis 286 average 2400 hits plus um, definitely a Hall of Famer, so that's cool. Here's a uh, Jackie Robinson reprint. So again, um, it's a nice way to have kids kind of learn the game. Not that most kids won't know about Jackie Robinson at this point. He does get a lot of attention, deservedly so. Have Jackie Robinson Day every day. Uh, the movie that came out a few years ago. But it's cool to uh, get a chance to teach uh, kids out there about players from the past. And then they can look up the players of the current times. Mike Trout here. 
absolute uh, superstar. This guy has led the league in war five consecutive years. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, as a Phillies fan, I hope uh, he hits free agency someday and is wearing a uh, red Philly shirt. That would be uh, that'd be nice. Though, in all honesty, it'd be nice to see some of these players stick around on one team their whole career. I just think those days are more or less done. Not to say it won't happen occasionally, but it doesn't happen much anymore. You know, you have a lot of these superstars that spend their career half in one team. And really, sometimes it's even worse because you have guys who, uh, you have a guy like David Price, really good pitcher, and he pitches for the Rays for a number of years, and then he gets traded, and then gets traded, and then gets traded and then signs a free agent deal with someone else. Here's an Alex Bregman rookie card. This guy is a player to watch this year, part of that Astros team. Unfortunately, this card is cut off center like the old days, but um, he's a guy to be on the lookout for. Um, he could be a key piece of, the, uh, of that team. There's another superstar rookie. This guy uh, came up and played really well last year, so hopefully... Uh, He'll continue. I mean, the, Ast uh, the Red Sox look like they're really loaded this year. I mean, you know, you got you don't win a championship on paper. You don't win a championship in the offseason. you got to get out there on the field and perform. But, I mean, the Red Sox look like they made the right moves in the offseason. But we'll see how it plays out. So, to roll this Chapman, 87. Jake Thompson rookie card from the Philadelphia Phillies. He was uh, one of the players acquired in the Cole Hamels trade. Thank you guys for joining the, uh, the vlog here. Just can't wait for baseball season to uh, get here. The, uh, the cold to go away here in the northeast part of the country. Some of you guys out west don't have that problem, but there's a nice Hunter Pence card. The Giants are a dangerous team. They, uh, they had the Giants three championships in that run. Very impressive. One of the big acquisitions of the offseason, Chris Sale, acquired by the Boston Red Sox. There's another buyback card, Mike Marshall. How about the Mariners? What do you guys think of the Mariners this year? Is Nelson Cruz? They actually had a pretty good year last year, and I don't think there's any reason to believe they can't uh, push for a postseason spot this year, too. They do have to go up against the Astros and the Texas Rangers, so tough division. And then you have a team like the Angels, and you never know. The Angels could have themselves a pretty decent year. You do have a slugger like Pools and a superstar like Mike Trout. Um, whether they have the pitching to uh, compete, who knows. But sometimes teams surprise, at least for part of the year, and then they kind of phase off late in the season. So we have a uh, a jersey card here, a game-used memorabilia card, something they do in the hobby now, and it is of Mr. John Lester of the Chicago Cubs, the uh, gray jersey. So that's pretty neat. Nice little hit. Um It'd be kind of cool if, you know, the jersey was the white with the pinstripes or he was just pictured in a gray jersey, but that's just me uh, nitpicking. So let's uh, keep rolling. We have uh, a few more packs to go. We have this five-tool insert subset. It's Ryan Braun of the Milwaukee Brewers. Jose Bautista card from the Toronto Blue Jays, where he remains. Uh, the Blue Jays are another team. You know, they're in it. Um, it seems like they took a little bit of a hit this offseason, losing Encarnacion. Uh, he was obviously a big part of their success, but, you know, they're, they'll be right there as well. I mean, that division's pretty good as well. The Red Sox look like the best team on paper, but the Blue Jays were great last year. The Orioles were very good. You have the Yankees who aren't bad. They're definitely rebuilding, and they're building more towards a few years from now, but they could still surprise. And, you know, Tampa Bay seems to always have a, a team that's not, you know, horrible nowadays. 
There's one of the guys in Texas that's going to help uh, them a little bit, Nomar Mazzara. Very, uh, very good talent there. You have the San Diego Padres. Sorry, Padres fans, I don't think there's much to be excited about. But, hey, you're always building towards the future, right? That's what I say about the Phillies. I'm not really worried about the results this year. All I want to see out of the Phillies is improvement. Um, you know, I want to see a guy like Odubo Herrera um, have a more consistent season. I want to see a guy like Mikel Franco have a all-star caliber season. Um, and then hopefully uh, another year or two uh, the Phillies can spend some money after they've added some, uh, you know, talent and, uh, you know, just kind of get there. It's a nice Nolan Ryan. It's a nice little card. Talk about surprises. You never know from year to year. Rick Porcello. I mean, look at this guy. So in 2015, he signs with the Red Sox, right? After having a few pretty solid years in Detroit, he goes 9-15 and with a 4.92 ERA, and people are just like, man, what a bust. He stinks. And in 2016, he goes 22-4, and leads the league or tied for the league with a 5.2 war, has a 3.15 ERA, 20-game winning season. It was just absolutely amazing um, the year that Rick Borsello had. And if he can keep that up with uh, some of the new, uh, new recruits there in Boston, they're going to be good. All right, we have a league leaders, Chris Bryant, superstar. Jeremy Piven, any Entourage fans there? Throwing a first pitch for the Cubbies. Justin Turner. Man, how good has this guy been since he got to the Dodgers? Chicago Cubs team card. Amazing the team they've built. Francisco Lindor, here's a guy who doesn't get talked about uh, as much. He had a chance to perform on the national stage in the World Series. The guy's so good. It's amazing some of the talent in, uh, in baseball. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this box of 2017 Topps cards. Um, definitely a fun, uh, fun little break. They have... Uh, some stuff like this, Father's Day card, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to baseball season, guys. Tyler Naquin, that's awesome. He had that uh, walk-off inside the park home run, one of really the um, real exciting moments from the regular season. Really good young player. So, guys, check out baseball this season. It's going to be fun. Check out MLB Network, ESPN, Fox Sports. There's a lot of ways to see teams play, uh, you know. I'm a fan of my team as much as anyone, and I obviously prioritize watching the Phillies over any team, but um, you always want to make sure you check out some other games. You'll be a little less surprised when the playoffs come around. You'll get a chance to see some of these guys play. It's a nice Greg Maddox card. David Wright, a bit of a fallen star. He's kind of, he's had a rough few years. He's really hurt, but uh, obviously in his day was just excellent. Two more packs. So, we'll see how we do here. Evan Gaddis. Adrian Gonzalez, guy who's had a nice season. We got a J Hap League Leaders card. This guy was unbelievable. Won 20 games. When he was with the Phillies, I liked him. I thought he um, performed pretty well for them. You know, I never saw him winning 20 games, so it's really impressive. Marcus Stroman, just a really good pitcher for the Blue Jays. Ichiro, Mother's Day card. It's amazing he's still uh, still playing. Masahira Tanaka. And this is it, guys. The final pack of uh, cards to open here. So let's see uh, see what we get. Danny Salazar, Tony Watson, the Pirates. There's a team you don't hear much about. Um, you know, they weren't great last year. They had some struggles, but they were in the playoffs a few years before that. So there's no reason to think that they can, uh, can't be back. 
World Series highlights, Addison Russell. Just, you know, if we can get that type of postseason again, ooh, Bryce Harper. He's coming off a down year. I mean, last year he only had 24 homers, 86 RBIs, and hit 243. Really struggled. And that's coming off a 42-99 and 330 season. So uh, he's still young, born in 1992. Um, so he can get better. And uh, our last two cards, Cincinnati Reds and Atlanta Braves. So when opening day finally hits, every team will be 0-0, zero zero, tied for first, tied for last. They'll have a fresh start, and I'm certainly looking forward to it. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of the upcoming 2017 baseball season. Uh, subscribe to the Myco Baseball Vlog, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great one.